we have found uh, two bodies in Deer Creek, uh, about a mile east of town. We are investigating this as, as a uh, crime scene. Delphi murders, also known as Delphi double homicides, are among the most controversial cases in history. Two teenage girls, Abigail Williams and Liberty German, disappeared after hiking on the Monon High Bridge Trail on February 13, 2017, and were found dead the next day. A chilling recording on the victim's phone emerged as the investigation unfolded. Let's find out what it contains as we unravel the Delphi murders, unsolved mysteries in Indiana. After being dropped off near the Manon High Bridge on February 13th, Abigail Joyce Abby Williams and Liberty Rose Lynn Libby German, 13 and 14 years old, took a hike near the bridge. They were not heard from again after German posted a photo of Williams walking across the bridge. They reported missing at 5.30 p.m. First authorities did not suspect foul play, but the bodies of the girls were found by noon the following day, about 0.5 miles east of the abandoned Manon High Bridge. They were found on the north bank of Deer Creek, it was two days after the disappearance that Indiana State Police released a photo of a man seen on hiking trails around the time they vanished. A man can be seen crossing a bridge towards the teens in Libby's phone pictures. On the rail bridge, the grainy photo appears to show a Caucasian male walking towards the girls, hands in pockets, head down. A few days later, he was identified as the prime suspect. An audio recording was released on February 22nd featuring a man saying, down the hill in the background. Police believe the voice belonged to the man on the photo. In a statement, the police hailed the girl as a hero for recording potentially significant evidence on her phone. As of the time, the reward offered in the case had been set at 41000 and police had reported that additional evidence had been recovered from the phone. Michael Patty, Libby's grandfather, urged the police to review the suspect's photographs and audio, hoping for a tip that could lead to his arrest during a news conference in March. On July 17th, police distributed a composite sketch of a person of interest. The sketch was apparently constructed from eyewitness accounts of hikers who witnessed the murders. A composite sketch shows a man with a prominent nose and a goatee wearing a hooded sweater and a cap, standing between 5'6 and 5'10 tall, weighing 180 to 220 pounds, and having reddish-brown hair. Meanwhile, an Indiana man arrested for failing to register as a sex offender was investigated in the fall of 2017 after a tip possibly linking him to the murders. But nothing suspicious was found. Moreover, investigators tracked down the landowner where the bodies were found who lied about his location during the murders, but was not named a suspect and later died. In 2019, after more than two years, police released a new sketch of the man believed to have murdered the teens. A police statement said the latest sketch matched the face of the man seen in video taken from a German cell phone of a man walking across an abandoned railroad bridge. According to police, they also released a longer audio clip in which a suspect is heard saying, Guys down the hill. It was believed that the suspect might be hiding in plain sight, as he was likely familiar with the Delphi area, either from living or working there. A fictitious social media account, Anthony Schatz, was also found during the investigation. Keegan Klein, who never officially was named a suspect in the murders, used the Anthony Schatz account to communicate with girls. The police and FBI have not released a reason for the girls' deaths or details about how they died. They only give gruesome details about how they perished. A suspect was taken into custody on October 26, 2022, and appeared in court on October 28. The suspect was charged with two counts of murder on October 31, 2022. At an initial hearing, Richard Allen, 50 of Delphi, entered a not guilty plea of two counts of murder. Authorities have temporarily sealed evidence against Allen, a licensed pharmacy technician at a local CVS store, to maintain the integrity of the investigation. A family member, Becky Patty, told reporters that Allen used to process photos for her family at the CVS store in Delphi where Allen worked. They always knew the suspect could have lived among them and hid in plain sight. It was Judge Francisco's decision on November 29, 2022 to unseal the probable cause affidavit that led to the suspect's arrest. A redacted document indicates that one of the victims mentioned gun as a man in a dark jacket and jeans approached them and told them to go down the hill. The man seen in the video is believed to be the suspect. A 40 caliber unspent round was also found closer to the bodies. The round was determined to have been fired by the suspect. There's also a report of a blue jacket and blue jeans being worn by a suspect. Another tip reported an oddly parked car that appeared to be hiding its license plate. The description of the car matched the suspect's 2017. It is believed the suspect spent around two hours on the trail in 2017. He told authorities he went fishing in jeans and a blue or black jacket during a subsequent interview in October 2022. No bail was set for the man, who was given a gag order by Judge Gull in December 2022. What do you of this case? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.